Hi. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure BitLocker on this computer. So, before someone should be able to have access to this computer, they will need to type in the BitLocker password, which they actually provide during the configuration, or you give them actually to actually provide a new password if you are handling this computer to someone who works, if you work in an enterprise environment. So, first of all, let me just show you that I'll be installing this on a Windows 10 computer. So, let me just go to the search, um, search and win for... Here we have, we can see I'm using version 1903, Windows 10. So to actually um, configure BitLocker, you will need to go to the Start menu here and type BitLocker and click Manage BitLocker, or you can as well just right-click the C drive and click Turn on BitLocker. So here we go, we're going to enter a password for the BitLocker. So please, when you enter this password, don't forget the password you enter. And then click Next. So now it's asking us where do we want to save our password. So we have three options. So where do we want to back up the password? We want to save it on a USB flash drive, or to save to a file, or to print the recovery key. So this computer is actually joined to a domain, so I'm going to save it to a share file. But if you are having a, like, a, this, is, this is a local computer, you can actually save it to a flash drive, or you can print the recovery key. So let me just save this to a share folder. Let me just go to my domain controller, and then look for where I think I created it. Let me create a full new folder here for this workstation and I save it to this share location and then click next. So it's asking choose how much of your drive to encrypt. Well, this is a new virtual machine I just installed. So I'm going to encrypt only the used disk space, which is more faster and best for new PC. So this, this computer is actually new. So just click next. Here it says, which, choose which encryption mode to use. So I'm going to use the new encryption mode, which is best for fixed drive on this device. So I'm going to use the new encryption mode and just click Next. Here, run BitLocker system check. So if are you ready to encrypt this drive? So I'm going to check this so that um, the um, BitLocker is going to do some, some system check to see if everything is okay. So click Continue. And here we have been asked to restart our computer. So when I restart this computer, that's when the configuration of Bit BitLocker is going to take place. So I just click restart, and I will, I'm going to stop, pause this video, and continue if the computer has fully restarted. So as you can see, I've restarted the computer. So we have been asked to enter the password we provided during the configuration of BitLocker. So please try and enter the password. And mind you, if you are using like a, like a QWERTY or AZT keyboard, so you should be very, very careful because right now I'm using an, I'm using an AZT keyboard, but because the, the password you enter is going to be actually on QWERTY. So if you are not careful, you'll be thinking you are entering the, right, the, the wrong password, whereas your, your keyboard is, is different. So click Enter. And now my computer is going to get started. So I have logged onto my computer, and here you can see that BitLocker has been enabled on this computer. So if I go back to my domain to where I saved my BitLocker key, uh, let me just go to BitLocker, and this was the folder I created to save my BitLocker key. And here you can see this is the recovery key I created for the workstation W04. So if I double click on it, and here you can see I have um, the BitLocker identifier, which, and here I have the BitLocker uh, recovery key. So we have other ways actually which we can save this um, key. Instead of saving it to a shared drive, we can actually save it to the domain controller. So I'm going to create a different video on how to save this key automatically to the domain controller or using PowerShell. So thank you very much for watching my video, and if this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to leave a comment, or you can as well send me an 
email if you have any question regarding Windows security or BitLocker. So thank you and don't forget to su subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related videos. Thank you very much. My name is Kelvin Johnson and I appreciate you for watching my video. Bye.